One important distinction we make in economics is between positive economics and normative economics. Positive economics is really what we can think of as the scientific side of economics, where it's really about connecting cause with effect. And its primary goal is to be descriptive. Say, if we put in place a particular policy, for example, what are the effects that that will have? Right. That's simply it. Or if there's a particular increase in demand, what kind of effects will that have? Now, the normative side of economics is really the side that makes recommendations. It's a prescriptive form of economics, and it tells us what we should or should not do. Now, one point that I would make is that for us to connect one to the other, it really requires some kind of philosophy of fairness. Right? That is, effects by themselves do not necessarily make a policy good or bad. So I can, um, from a positive economic standpoint, make the claim that a uh, minimum wage would lead to greater unemployment amongst unskilled workers. Right? This is a positive economic claim. It's saying, here's the cause, here's the effect, and we can build up the theory behind it, which is what actually we are going to do when we start looking into price controls. This is all a positive statement. An increase in the minimum wage leads to more unemployment amongst particular groups of workers. Now, a normative statement would then say, therefore, we should not have a minimum wage. Right? That's a normative leap in that you're moving from talking about the effect to making a, re a recommendation. Now, the reality is that we know that these effects right, are somewhat more complex. Right? So unemployment, sure, is a possible result, but another result is those that stay employed have higher wages. How do we measure the winners against the losers? That requires a philosophy of fairness. Right, so it's very important to keep in our minds, are we talking about the positive sphere of economics, just causes and effects, even if those effects we make might very much sound like we're saying good and bad. Right? It's, it's good for this group or bad for that group. Um, and as far as it's just a statement of cause and effect, rather than making a recommendation, we're in the positive realm. Once we start making recommendations, the normative realm is really what comes in. So let's just finish up with some general principles about the way that um, we can approach policy. And that is that there are three major pillars on which the market system rests. Those are prices, profits, and property rights. Any policy that interferes with any of these is very likely to cause some kind of inefficiency. But another way, anything that interferes with these three tends to decrease the size of the economic pie. Now, whether this is a good thing or a bad thing still relies on your philosophy of fairness. It certainly as the pie is shrinking, it very well might be that we can cut things so that some people still get a larger slice Well the shrinking of the pie is all concentrated in a different group. Whether that's a good or a bad thing very much depends on your philosophy of fairness.